All right. Happy fr uh, Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. Everyone's wow. confused. Happy, happy <laughs> Sunday. Uh, welcome to our team call. How is everybody feeling tonight? We just got back from Thanksgiving. Comment in the chats. Uh, a what your bit. favorite I, dish was? How this was year. how was Thanksgiving? We'd love to hear from you guys. What was a highlight maybe that you guys took away? We you know last week when we talked, um, we were going to be focusing on just just gratefulness, gratitude, thankfulness, all of this that's going on. And so we'd love to hear just a little bit of what you guys um, got to experience this weekend. Hopefully, it was an amazing time filled with food and uh, family. Uh, I know ours was. We we spent some time in Birmingham and then went to uh, Nashville to okay. spend time with. Love you my mom and dad, and we had a great time there. Great time and ate all the turkey. Really, I hit my limit for turkey for the year, and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to, to uh, switch, it, switch it up a little bit. Sweet potato, oh yeah. We can keep talking about food, keep talking oh, about food. Oh, and Rach saw her grandparents, that's it's so amazing. sweet. Wonderful, well, it was an, an amazing, incredible week, and we are so excited about this call tonight. Just wanna, Welcome Jenna onto the call tonight. Jenna is somebody that James and I met on our honeymoon in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, two and a half years ago. We met Jenna at the casino at the resort, and it was so fun. We connected via Facebook, and a couple months ago, she reached out to me because she's getting married, and she wanted to um, try isogenics. She's had an incredible transformation. And so I, I began to drip on her and I said, Hey, I'd love to help you get your products paid for. Hey, you've been following my social media for a while. Are you interested in making a secondary income? Sometimes she wouldn't respond to my text messages, and, but I continued to text her anyways. Um, and she reached back out to me and she said, I think I want to hear more about this opportunity. Guys, this was about five months that this has been going on. So her and I, we, I got on the phone, I showed her the comp plan and then I didn't hear from her for about another month. And then she, she texted me back. She said, okay, I think I'm ready to do this. So she enrolled her fiance on Friday for the black Friday savings. But get this, she just bought her plane ticket to NYKO in January. So James and I met her on our honeymoon and now she's coming to New Year kickoff because she sees this vision of what Isogenics is going to be for her future. And this is her very first Sunday night Zoom call. Give her some so love in the, the chat. chat, guys, please welcome her. Let her feel the love of Freedom Living Team, Let of her this know incredible what team. And, and really, we're excited. Let her know what. And let her know what she's going to be expecting at uh, New Year's kickoff. For those of you who uh, who have ever been to an event, <clears throat> you know how invaluable that is. And so she has made, Jenny, you've made an amazing decision to invest. You guys, that's what we're doing. That's what you guys are doing right here on this call right now. You are investing in yourself. You're investing in your future. Hey, Jenna, the way that you have you know, positioned yourself with this opportunity already just by saying, hey, I, I trust you all. I'm gonna get out to this event because you tell me it's worth it and you tell me to get out to there is, is going to be, is gonna pay off dividends, not just monetarily, but you as a person. And to everybody that you guys, you know, that's what we are doing here on these calls. We are investing in ourselves and our future. And there has never yeah. been a better time than right Hi. now. Right. This is not and, surreal. It's the times that we see numbers. other people to start getting, you know, <laughs> into other things and whatnot that we just get really life. excited about what's happening right here uh, because this really is the right place at the right time. And so, um, yeah, Jenna, we are very, very excited. So you haven't already bought your yeah. new ticket. Buy that ticket. Guys, there is. Oh, is there? Can just everybody getting a lot of background noise from us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay, hold on, okay, hold hold on. on one second. Ow. Pause, hold on. Um. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I needed the line. Is that better? Is that better? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I forgot to meet the lines. My bad. Did you hear my entire introduction for Jenna? Did you get to hear that though? You guys kind of? Okay. okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so if you haven't already bought your New Year kickoff ticket, buy your New Year kickoff ticket. Um, these events are 
absolutely transformative for a network marketing professional, which is what all of you are if you're tuning into this call on a Sunday evening. You want to see Isogenics become a substantial income for your life. And if that is something that you want to do, and that is something that you desire, getting to a corporate event like NYKO is essential for your growth. Because as human beings, we go and then we crash and we need encouragement and we need belief and we need vision. And then when we have it, we can go for a little spurt longer and then we crash and we need encouragement and we need belief and we need vision. So getting yourself to these events are what continues to fuel the fire. That's why we have these Sunday Zoom calls every single week because regardless of what your week may have looked like from really high highs or maybe you've experienced some discouraging moments, you can be assured that every Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern, you can plug into this call to rebuild and to re, you know, fuel that fire that's within you to continue to see this vision. So getting yourself to NYKO is so important and it's not just for you to get there. It's for you to be diligent and to be a professional vis vision caster to your team members to get them there. Um, and like James and I always say, we can be a broken record when it comes to getting to events, but if you can become a master at leading and building up to an event with your team and your organization, if you can become a master at inviting people to events, getting them to events, your residual income will absolutely explode. You're not just hearing that from us. I can show you numbers of what's happened to every person's organization who's, who's a part of Freedom Living Team, who gets to the event every single year and brings their team to an event every year. It's the reason why Danielle Roback made $70,000 last year. Because if you look at Isa of the Pine, she always has 30, 40 people that she brings to every event. If you looked and you just saw that most recent shout out of Lane and Chelsea Taylor, who just recently hit three star golden circle at celebration, they rented out an Airbnb. And for four days, they continued, they met with their team. They got to the event early to save seats for their team so that everybody could sit together. And so they could have an incredible experience. So when you're looking at coming to, you know, NYKO, how bad do you want to see this, you know, breakthrough happen financially for your life? Getting yourself to that event is going to make that happen. And I think going back, I don't know why right now, my, the, my word is just posture. I, I would love for all of you guys to just think of how you are posturing yourself for this, this opportunity and this lifestyle that maybe you are saying that you want. Just take a second and just think, how, how am I posturing myself? How are my conversations going? Am I really prioritizing you know, these income producing activities? Am I pushing off these things that I know that would really help maybe grow my business and help encourage um, people in my organization, but I'm just, I just don't feel like it today. Just take inventory with where you're at right now because posture you guys with this is, is so much. And speaking of posture, this past week, there was, there was a posture shift in somebody on Freedom Living Team. Mm -hmm. Is anybody, has anybody gotten an iPad on the, on the, on the team? Has anybody enrolled eight people? Okay. There's still time. There's a couple hours left, but it is tonight. And there was somebody, oh, I'll let you, there was somebody that this week had a posture shift that had an insane week because she decided enough was enough and I was actually going to do something about it. And I want Odd to talk a little bit about what that was. Well, it's interesting because all of you know Taylor Smith and she gets on every single Sunday Zoom call, but just like every other person on this call, we have ebbs and flows in our Isogenics business. But she, she remains consistent by always getting on these Sunday Zoom calls. So this week she went home to Atlanta to see her, um, to see and to be with her family. She li she's been listening to, listening to Grant Cardone, mm -hmm. Grant Cardone, and she was listening to him the entire way to um, Atlanta. So for three and a half hours, three hours, she, she listened to a podcast by Grant Cardone. And she sent me a text message when she got home and she said, 
by listening and fueling myself with this new energy, because she had been, she, she will say this. She's like, I felt like I've been in a lull that I've been really forcing myself to get out of. She was like, so I took action to listen to this podcast for three hours. I was just listening to him. She said, my posture is beginning to change. She walked into her home and her dad had the iPad pro Taylor put it in her hands and she started to play with it. And that evening, last Sunday, she sent me a text message after we got off of this Zoom call. Um, and last week's Zoom call was fire. So if you didn't listen to it, re-listen to it. She got off of it. She said, Odd, I want this iPad Pro more than anything in the world and I'm going to get it next week. And I said, seriously, I was like, it's the iPad Pro that's getting you into massive action. She was like, I felt it with my hands. I want it. My dad had it. It's awesome. <laughs> I need it. She had only enrolled one person throughout this contest period. She needed to enroll seven people this week in order for her to hit the iPad Pro. So what Taylor did was, was she made the decision in her mind. Her energy was speaking louder than the words that were coming out of her mouth. She, she took the action when she wasn't feeling like it to put on something in her car to change her mindset, to put her in the right posture to receive the goodness that was going to come towards her. Then she gets to her home. She touches the iPad. She makes a conscious decision that she's not going to allow this week to go by without her having and getting all of those enrollments. So she spent the entire week following up with people. She spent Friday, which was the Black Friday savings, and she enrolled six people on Friday. She's enrolling her last person tonight, and she's getting the iPad Pro, and she made $1,200 this week, which is her next to biggest week that Come she's on. ever had in her isogenics business since she hit two star golden circle in the spring. Now this is all to say that this wasn't a fluke of something that happened. It was a decision that Taylor made going into it. And if you talk to any of the leaders, when Danielle Roback went from, went from one star to two star golden circle and three star in her husband's business center in one week, when she did that in one week, she made a decision, set an intention, and got into massive action. But it was initially the energy that led to the massive action. So it's, it really was blowing my mind. I said to Taylor, I was laughing with her on the phone. I said, it was really the iPad, the iPad that got you into massive action. And she said, I needed to feel it with my hands. That's the way that Taylor functions. How do you function? What is going to cause your energy to get so fired up about isogenics that's gonna cause the action behind what your vision is to back that vision up to create the action steps to have the results that you desire to have in your business. $1,200 this week because she made a decision and she's getting the iPad. So tomorrow is Cyber Monday. Tomorrow is the same exact savings that was happening on Black Friday. You guys, James and I, we've been, I've been in Isogenics going on six years. James has been in Isogenics going on five years, and we've never seen a savings like this ever before since being a part of this. The value pack, which is typically $650 to $700, depending on taxes and shipping, is only $470 tomorrow. The basic system, which breaks down to about $375, is only $270 tomorrow. So when you are looking at setting an intention for the week, tomorrow, I know that a lot of us have nine to five jobs. I know that there are so many things that can get in our mind and in our schedules. But if you can set the intention to take massive action tomorrow, and even tonight when we get off the call, to follow up with people, to let them know that the savings is only happening tomorrow, you can have this next week can be the largest week that you've ever had in your organization when you make the decision that it's going to be. Taylor Smith is enrolling someone tonight, and that person is enrolling on a value pack without the savings. 
So it had nothing to do with saving extra money. Taylor's posture when speaking about the value pack today was that this is, this is going to be the system that's going to change this woman's life. And she said, here's my credit card information. So this entire week can be the greatest week. I have a list of people that I'm going to help reach consultant this week, whether they come in tomorrow or they come in next Saturday. I'm setting the intention so that my brain, I am logically saying to myself, this is what's going to happen. And this is the energy that's going to flow for me and the action is going to follow. So I would, you know, what I like about what was so funny. I mean, Otto, we're just, Otto and I were just laughing last week when Taylor was on the phone with us and she was, it, 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 it seemed like she just had a, you know, 70 shots or something. She was so through the roof excited. And we were like, really? The iPad, like, yeah, you could go, you could go buy that with like three enrollments with value packs. You could, with the VIBs that you get from that, you could go buy yourself a brand new iPad, but this is it. And she was like, yes, it is. And you know, we, Odd and I made a post early when that was just launched. And I don't, even, I don't know if you guys remember it, but we were at the mall and I said, hold on, I want to go into the Mac store and I want to, I want to touch one. I want to hold one. Because what I've learned when it comes to goal setting, when it comes to visualizing what it is that you want or where it is you want to go, being able to get your hands on it so that you can kind of wrap your mind around it a little bit more and your mind can say, okay, I get it now. I get maybe that this is, this is exciting. Oh, look, this is such a cool feature. It, it makes it so much more real. Then you already know that it's possible. You've just now got to make it happen as opposed to, well, I, I saw a picture of an iPad. Like it doesn't really excite me that much. Now, granted, I know that an iPad might not be exciting for everybody, but the, the lesson I think is and the principle is still there that we were intentional at seeking this out so that we could, you know, just get a, get a grasp of what we we're about to run towards. And I think that some of us, sometimes we can get to this place where we don't really know where we're running and we don't really know what we're running towards. We just kind of are going because that's what we're told to do. So in that, like I said, it might not be a material thing, but what I've learned, what I would say we have learned along the way of our, of our growth, of our expansion, is that it is good to get a taste of something that maybe you can't yet buy or maybe you can't yet get in in hopes that it could impart some something to you in terms of pulling you forward. Is this making sense to you guys at all? Right? So, so maybe, you know, maybe you can't go out to eat, you know, three times a week, or maybe you've never been out to eat and spent more than a hundred dollars on yourself. Now I'm not saying to go do that all the time, but maybe if you go out with intention, say, I'm going to go to the nicest place in town. I'm going to buy the nicest thing on the menu just so I can know what it's like to eat the finest meal. Maybe that's something that helps and, and you go, you know what, this would be amazing if I could eat like this every day, if I wanted to, yeah. how nice would that be to be able to do that or to, to be able to <laughs> buy all sorts of things for my family for Cyber Monday. And it wouldn't have to be necessarily Cyber Monday for me to be getting all these deals in order to buy stuff. Like, wouldn't that be so nice? And just to get a taste of it. Well, in a lot of what James just said, we talk about our money mindset in the, in the workshop that we did. And a lot of this has to do with the money mindset. Last year, right around this time, James and I flew out to um, Phoenix, Arizona for a three star and above training. And after that training happened, we drove back with Zach and Eden Slobin, who are company millionaires. They're in the top 50 income earners worldwide in isogenics. And we drove back with them to their home. Their standard of living is luxury. And it was a type of living that James and I weren't necessarily used to. They make about what, how much do they make a year? Would you say? They make probably about six to 700,000 a year. Six hundred to $700,000 a year. And so when we were with them for those four days, there was an impartation that they gave to us that caused us to leave their presence and desire to take more action. And the result of being with them was that our income began to increase because when we began to surround ourselves with people who were further along, making more money than us, who had done it faster than we did, who, were, who, who, who are more mature than we are, that inevitably caused a drive within us to take action. So if you are looking at the people that you're surrounding yourself with, 
is that are the people that you're surrounding yourself with pushing you and encouraging you to raise your thermostat of what your dreams are with isogenics. If your dreams are to make $50,000 a year, are the people that you're surrounding yourself with making more than $50,000 a year? Because if you are the person out of your circle of friends or out of the, your sphere of influence who makes the most money, your thermostat typically stays around the same, which is why we decide and choose to get around people like Herb and Patty whenever we can to get around people that do make significantly more money than we do so that it continues to raise our thermostat. So going into tomorrow, this could be your first call. This could be your, it does, that doesn't matter. What is it that you are going to set an intention to do tomorrow and making it clear? You guys, things are very, very simple when you make clear goals of what it is that you're going to accomplish. I am somebody that needs structure. I am somebody that really needs a, almost a to-do list. If I don't have that in front of me, I'm just kind of running around saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know where I'm going to be most useful. I'm going to know, don't know what I'm going to, you know, where I'm going to be productive today. Instead of taking a proactive approach. Most people in life are taking a reactive approach. They react to life. They react to their circumstances. They react to whatever. Instead of taking a proactive saying, you know what? It's November here. I can already tell you right now that I'm going to want to have a better 2019 than I had in 2018. I'm going to want that. I'm going to want to level up in my relationships. I'm going to love, want to level up in my finances. I'm going to want to level up in my spiritual journey, my, my, you know, my, my inner man, so to speak, how can I go ahead and take steps forward so January 4th, 5th, and 6th doesn't come around and I go, man, I haven't even thought about how I'm going to get started on the year. Because at that point, you're already behind. So here we are on a Sunday night. It's 923. And you have the option to say, okay, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and I'm going to start thinking about what I'm going to do right. to take advantage of Cyber Monday. And then you're going to have the, the group of people that are going to say, you know what? I know what Monday mornings are like in my house and in my life. And there are usually three to seven things that try and pull at my attention before I even get out the door that are going to try and distract me or throw my schedule off. So if I wait till tomorrow morning, I'm already behind. What can you, and they're going to say, I need, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this tonight. So I can say, these are the people that I'm going to reach out to. These are the people that I'm going to follow up with. These are the, you know, times of the day that I will already have consciously thought about having a block of time where I can sit down and do this in between my work schedule or whatnot. And you will find that not only will you be more proficient in terms of being able to message more people, you'll probably message those people, follow up with them, do calls and be like, wow, I actually have a lot more time than I thought I did. But two, you'll realize that your energy isn't drained because you're not having to exert all of this mental energy on the day that you're trying to accomplish all of these activities. Is this resonating with anybody? Is this, is this gathering? So, Sometimes what happens is we get to Thursday, Friday, Saturday in the week and we go, oh man, it's just not been a really good week. I wonder why I'm going to really sit down tonight and I'm going to think about how I can make it a good weekend. Well, guys, I'm sorry. Guess what? It's already Thursday or Friday and everything that could have been prepared on Sunday has just been, it, it's the time is gone. Time is the most valuable commodity we have. So if we can set 30 minutes, an hour of, of each of our times on a Sunday night and say, how are we going to be most effective? during this next week? What are, what are three goals that we are going to want to accomplish? What are five goals that I want to accomplish this week, no matter what? They don't have to be anything crazy. You don't have to go say, I'm going to go, you know, enroll a hundred people, but you know what? I, I am going to commit to, to talking to 20 because here's what happens is people get into the holidays. They have all these things and then they look up and three months later, they haven't had a conversation with a single person because they haven't made the time to even sit down and think about what they want to do. With tomorrow, it's the biggest, it's the biggest savings we've ever had, you guys. I want you to, I want you to feel that. It's the biggest savings we've, we've ever had. And I know there's been a lot of following up and I know there's been a lot of connecting, but what if you took a little bit of time tonight and said, okay, I, this, this is my future. This is, these are my goals. This is my destiny that I'm wanting to create here with Isogenics. How intentional and how proactive I am and how am I going to posture myself going into this week Am I going to give it, you know, everything that I'm telling people that I want this to be for my life? And what happened was, was everything that James is saying and everything that he's sharing is something that resonates so deep within who we are. 
we listened to a podcast talking about boundaries by Chris Harder. And I posted it in FLT Business. And I highly, highly recommend for all of you who want to grow wealth to listen to that podcast. And so what we decided to do was every Sunday, we have a non-negotiable walk where we get out into nature and we don't have our phones with us and we allow creation of what God made to really surround us. And when you get out into the outdoors, your brain sobers up, you begin to have more clarity and you just creative thoughts really do begin to flow. So after we're done having our walk, then we take time to schedule out the next week. Now, James's brain works different than my brain works. Um, I ping from one thing to the next, kind of all over the place. And somehow, some way, his mom was talking to me as I was laying on the floor by the oven um, in their kitchen. And she said, I am so amazed at how you multitask seven different things. She was like, you're in a conversation, you're helping Allie buy a jacket, you're posting on Freedom Living Team, you're laying on the floor getting warm. But what I did, what I did learn and what I did hear on this podcast is even someone like me who has a brain that doesn't work extremely analytically can grow in that area of my life to become more effective. I want to be extremely effective in isogenics. I want my time to be effective. I want to create leaders effectively in this organization because I believe that this is the vehicle to create as much wealth as you desire. And so I want to become more effective. And if you hear the saying over and over again, if you wanna have different results, you're going to have to do things different. And so for me, doing things different for me is taking out my calendar and quite literally scheduling in what every single day is going to look like. And it's uncomfortable. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm a fly by my seat type of girl. I like to fly by my pants sometimes. I don't know what I want to do. And I said, no, I'm going to schedule this out because I want to see more six figure earners pop up in this team. I want to see leadership development like we've never had before. So before um, before we did anything today, uh, we got out our calendar and we scheduled out what this day was going to look like, who we were going to help become consultant, who we were going to reach out to, what we needed to do to prepare for NYKO, what we needed to do to encourage people to get their tickets for NYKO. And we mapped it out so clearly that we created a boundary around what our work was going to look like this week with Isagenix. When it comes to a big promotion, like Black Friday or like Cyber Monday, these promotions don't come around every single day. So if you take this promotion and you say, I'm gonna do everything that I can tomorrow when this promotion is running, tonight when we get off this Zoom call, to line up these enrollments so as soon as it hits midnight this evening at Eastern, I can put these enrollments in and they're already grabbing and getting the savings. If you take these incentives that Isogenix throws out there and you grab them with everything that you have, you can be assured that your team will follow in suit of what you do. And when these incentives and these promotions come around and you are doing everything that you can to bring new blood into your organization, do you know what? By next week, some of those people who are your new blood are going to want to get their products paid for. And so with this coming up week, when it comes to the strategy of what you can do, just like what James and I said, strategize what your week is going to look like first and foremost. Strategize who, write down the names of the people that you specifically need to and want to follow up with and connect with tonight and tomorrow regarding um, the savings. Specifically go through your downline of the people who are your product users to ensure that they know about the savings for new and existing customers it's 10 percent off if you order a hundred dollars it is 15 percent off if it's 150 and it's 20 percent if it's 200 dollars and free shipping so who in your downline has an auto ship that's coming up this week that can grab that savings i mean you are the business owner of your Isagenix organization. 
if you don't take the time to go through and to acknowledge and to lead your team to have these savings and towards success, who is going to do it? If you're not taking the necessary action to build your business, who else is going to do it? It's up to you. And so when it comes to this strategy, that's what we wanted to impart to you tonight. Could Sunday, could Sundays be a new boundary that you set in your life to schedule out your week ahead? If you can schedule out your isogenics week ahead, then you're constantly doing daily action every day. And I can assure you that the more daily action that you take on a consistent basis, the more that you are going to see the results that you're looking for. But if you are going really, really hard on Black Friday and then you take off and you don't do anything for two weeks, you're not going to see the consistent growth that you desire to see. The more consistent that you are, the more you're going to see the results that you're looking for. Has this been helpful, you guys? Has this been good? Good stuff? Okay, wonderful. Well, with that, we are going to leave you to strategize, to game plan. It is going to be an exciting day tomorrow. And guys, it's going to be an exciting week and next month and a half. 2018, is, it's, it's been such an amazing year. I believe one of the greatest years yet to date. And we are, only, we are only going higher. We are only going farther. But if we aren't intentional, if we don't have the right posture, if we aren't being vigilant about our time and how it's being used, then all of this time will just be gone and we'll wish we have spent, spent our time differently and more intentionally. So with that, we're going to let you guys go. We are excited about tomorrow, all of the people that we are going to be welcoming. And we will have this call posted on our, our uh, team uh, page later. Tag anybody who wasn't on it who you would like for them to be a part of. And we will talk to you guys this same time next week. Love you guys.